Have you ever wished that you had a master floral designer that you could have stand beside you step by step and teach you the process of floral design? My name is Kirby Holt. I'm a master floral designer with more than 25 years of experience in the business and I want to show you step by step how to create beautiful floral designs with the kits from MyFloralDesign.com. I hope you enjoy this video and this series. Thank you for joining us for another floral design demonstration. I have a great arrangement for you today. It's in a seashell, wonderful for coastal home decorating or following that trend of coastal decor right now. I've already glued the styrofoam and moss to the container for you. You'll notice the layer of moss is kind of thin. That way we can make our insertions into the foam. Sometimes too much moss makes it hard to get through and making those insertions. So the first thing we're going to do, I have this grass arrangement. It's kind of a frosted grass. It works really well with the frosty greens of the succulents. And we're going to place that just right into the very center center of that arrangement and just push it down as far as it'll go and uh, just fluff it a little bit and that's going to be the center of the arrangement. Now I'm going to just set that to the side. Three of these uh, succulent bushes come together and are bound with that little bit of rubber and I'm going to take my knife and just run right down along that. Just cut, always cut away from yourself so the knife doesn't get away from you and cut you. And then once I get down to the tape that's inside, I really just want to separate all of these elements that are in the bush separately so that I can use them separately in designing this arrangement. That has that little bit of tape. We'll just strip all that tape away and just kind of clean everything off. That way it's uh, easier to design as we go once we get all these things cleaned up. And this is usually something I do at the very beginning of the arrangement. Now, as I'm cleaning this, I am not gluing any of these pieces in today as I design it, but one of the things you may want to do if it's a, a permanent arrangement that you don't want to take apart, you may want to use just a dot of hot glue on every one of the tips of the uh, stems as you put them in. Sometimes I have uh, designers that I'm teaching and they will put a little dot of glue on it after they've gotten the arrangement finished. They will come back and just uh, one flower at a time they'll pull it out put the glue and put it back in so they can get everything exactly the way they want it before they start gluing and if you're especially a beginner and aren't confident with your placements yet that's a great way to do that so I've separated two of those bushes we have one left to go and I'm going to again just strip away that outside rubber coating and a nice sharp knife will handle that for you There we go, chilling it away. And then again, I'll come down to that uh, layer of tape, just kind of strip right through that tape, just the tip of my blade, open it up and then separate everything out. And as we separate things out, we'll kind of place uh, like elements together so that we have uh, a progression as we put them in place, we can see how many of each item we have left. And uh, if there's some of that tape residue left on, just kind of strip it off. So we've got all of those cleaned and cleared. So all of these little long stemmy uh, pieces that kind of grow out on stems, I'm going to separate all of those and put them in one little stack over here. And then we have the succulents. That one still has a tag, so we'll take that tag off, put those together. We have some pieces of fern. We'll get all that together some different grasses and just by organizing our materials it'll make it quicker and easier for us as we put this arrangement together. I'm going to move the container right back to the center. Now anytime I'm making an arrangement I try to use the largest elements first work my way down to the smaller elements. So this is uh, one of the larger tall pieces and I'm going to put in right in next to this stem of grasses right there. To create a little bit of movement off to the side, I'm going to use these stems of fern. And these would benefit from just a little tip of glue on the end if you wanted to do that. But this allows us to get just a little bit of an oblong flow into the arrangement following kind of the oblong shape of the shell. And by doing this, what I've done is established 
right off the bat the height of the arrangement and the length of the arrangement. Now we can begin to fill it in. So I've placed this one cluster of succulents up toward the top. I'm going to cut that stem probably about three or, or more inches off and put that to the side here and let it just flow out just a little bit and it kind of echoes what we have going on up here with the grasses but we'll place something right in here as a uh, focal point between those. Again, I'm cutting maybe two inches off of this one and doing the same thing on the back side that I did on the front side with this one and putting it off to the one angle just a little bit. Now we have this large succulent anchoring this side, so I'm going to take the second larger one, and this is a Talanzia, an air plant, and cut about two inches off of it and place that in, and it's actually directly across from the succulent here, it just goes straight across and anchors the other side. Now that I've done that, I have four succulents and they're all about the same size, so I'm going to use those in four spots around the arrangement, cutting about three inches off of that one. And it's a nice large one, so I'm going to just place it in low here, right between that grass and the bush of grass up at the top. Now I have uh, another one of those that I can put on this other side right here and fill in that space. And I'm going to come in right into this space with this one. And then we have one last succulent that I can bring right in here and just fill in that little hole there. Now you can see very quickly how we filled everything in and then I can use all of these little shoots just to have them pop out as if all of the new little growth of succulents, the little babies, are coming out and growing. Got just a little bit of tape there on that one. Fish that out of there. And often I like to strengthen a placement instead of just doing one, put two together because often they'll throw off two or three little shoots together. Okay, so I've anchored those two. And that, by doing so and having that succulent down and deep and having these things kind of popping out, it creates nice depth and kind of draws the eye in to that part of the arrangement. Now I'm going to turn just a little bit and we'll take a couple more of these, place those down in using those wires, go all the way down in between and then let them kind of stand up on the top. Another one just like that one. Same thing right beside it. And then maybe take a couple of these, come off to the side here. Another one just like it. I'm going to make that one just a little bit shorter so that it'll come in underneath. See how we've created depth by having different levels of foliages coming to different uh, heights in the arrangement, height and depth, and creating interest and balance in the arrangement. Okay, and I'm going to trim that off just a little bit so I can push it in right next to that one. And we just have three little tips left. I think I'd like to have these kind of shoot Right out from there. This one can be just a little longer. And I think I'll come back. This one matches these, so we'll just come right in beside those and have the third little bed growing out from that cluster. All right, that stem is not wanting to go in, so I'm just gonna trim just a little bit of that plastic off of the bottom, make the insertion point skinnier and more pointed, and that'll make it easier to get that insertion to go into the styrofoam. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get my hands down into these little tight spaces, so once I get it placed, then I can move things around and make sure that it's laying and sitting exactly where I want it to be. So, beautiful um, 
succulent arrangement designed into a seashell. Wonderful element for an accent piece. Uh, could be on an end table, could be on a bedside table, even in a bookcase because it's not so high that it couldn't sit in between the shelves. So, uh, and, and don't think that you have to have uh, a coastal room to use a seashell with something like this because seashells work really well. It's like a look, one piece of Asian art in every room works well to create a wonderful eclectic look. So this uh, is another item that would help to create a, an eclectic kind of gathered look in a room that may be direct, uh, decorated in any style. Thank you for joining today for another episode. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I encourage you to browse the library of arrangements and videos on our website, myfloraldesign.com.